What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Wait, duh. I'm turn the light on here. Uh, oh, yeah. We're talking about a light today. Clearly. Uh, it is specifically the GVM, which, by the way, stands for Great Video Maker. I mean, uh, maybe I don't toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good. Uh, <laughs> the GVM, uh, RGB, LED, bunch of other words, you know, keywords on Amazon. Uh, light, but it's dope. It's super, super bright. I'm a little too close, but it's good. It's very good. I like that it has its little, little adapter, little swivel arm thing, which is a. It places it a little higher than just direct the line of sight, right? So the camera's here. The light is about yay higher. Yeah, about per four or five inches higher. But what's really special about this thing is that it's freaking enormous. It is, uh, I think it's like seven by three. I didn't even pull up the specs. I'll, I'll have all the specs on the screen. It's gigantic. It has a slot in diffuser. So that gives you a little bit softer light. Obviously I'm not just being blasted with light. Also, I mean, the fact that it's higher up, right? I mean, you can see how bright it is in my glasses, but I have to like really like from looking at the, at the lens, it was a significant movement to get to reflect. So you're actually just looking at my eyes. You're not looking at just like a blast of light into my, my glasses, which is actually really nice because I don't think I've ever had a video where something isn't reflecting in my glasses in, in, on this channel. So there it is. This might be the way to go now. It has a ton of settings. It has, I think this is the brightness. Is this the brightness? Let's see what happens. Nope, that's the warmth. See, that's right there. It's quick. Right, uh, and it does have a, a range of how how cool or how warm it's gonna be. Um, camera's on that. And then you have, hold on, I think you have to click it in. There it is, and there's your RGB. This is our green, and it'll filter as you turn it. Oh, it feels so good. No, oh, that's dope, I really, and it's quick. It's like, it's quick with all its actions. Oh, I forget what the other, there's another dial. Oh, that's the brightness. Let's, let's go all the way, all the way up. Not bad. It's, it can't really look directly, but it's not that bad. It's really, it's a really nice piece. For the price tag, I honestly think it can't be beat, especially for the wide array of features it has. It'll go RGB. It has a ton of brightness levels. And the major key here is, it comes with the battery. A lot of these lights, a lot of these accessories that you use, even monitors, things like that, they all need that as an LP, whatever, you know, the Sony battery. Everyone knows what it is, except me. I don't know it off the top of my head because I've only got one now and it came with this. But guess what? I get to power my other light that I'm going to be reviewing and I get to power my monitor that I bought that I'm going to be reviewing. So, uh, tons of value for me already. I get to do three videos just because I bought this light and it has a battery, like dope. Comes in a nice little box, it's branded, it has a little carrying case. Uh, yeah, I really, nothing bad to say about this, honestly. It is gigantic, it's, I think it's almost as big as the 70D with the, with the screen open. Like almost, almost as wide. And that's big, that's a wide footprint. So, I mean, it's not gonna be like a pocketable light. We have another one that we talked about linked up here and down below. Uh, that definitely is pocketable and definitely is something to have, but this one is gonna be great for major production. I mean, without question, I'm bringing this to every single uh, interview and and, and, uh, and documentary and what, all that stuff. I really don't have much to say about it. It's good, I mean, it's plastic. The, the build quality could be better, but like, I don't need it to be metal. It's not that heavy. If you guys watched the Sunday video, you guys know what the arm that I'm shooting on is. I put it on and I didn't have to adjust the arm, so it didn't weigh it down. It didn't move the arm out of the added weight. It just, it's not that heavy, but it does what you needed to do, especially the amount of light it casts. I mean, this is a decent, like if I actually turn those backlights on, I, they might be drowned out by this. And that's kind of nice. It has a screen on the back where it's gonna show you the brightness level and the RGB settings and things like that. It's got the two dials that one of them is clickable. Is the other one clickable? Does it do anything? No, it is not clickable. It comes with a little cold shoe mount that is also uh, adjustable. So you can kind of mount it a couple different ways, which is nice out of the box. Plus the actual body itself has a quarter 20 hole so you can attach it to anything with a quarter 20, just like any other camera accessory. So real talk, not a lot to say, great light, 
loving it. Um, you should go buy it using our affiliate link down below. I appreciate it. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching Tech Tuesday, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.